It's the seventh annual Fort for Fitness at the home of the Tin Caps Parkview Field, and we're joined now by Tin Caps Director of Promotions and Community Relations, who also just happens to be the co-chair of this year's Fort for Fitness Fall Festival, Abby Nas. Abby, thanks for taking a few moments away from the busyness that is organizing this event that features more than 10,000 people. But tell us, what's your role as co-chair? Yeah, it's myself and Adam Smith. We are both the co-chairs. And so we um, do our best to try to just make sure that this is a really successful event for the entire community. And it seems like it's a full-time job in itself, but of course it's not necessarily your day job. So what's it take to try to have so many volunteers put together an event that really does require nearly a full-time commitment? Yeah, uh, we're all volunteers, like you said, but we have uh, a volunteer committee and their whole role in everything that we do for Fort for Fitness is to recruit people. Uh, they do that by going out and speaking to different organizations. Our executive director is really great at that, Brad Kimmel. Um, and then just the people on the uh, volunteer committee, they put in a lot of hours, a lot of hard work to get our name out there and get people excited. Even if you can't run or you don't want to run or walk, uh, you could still be a part of this wonderful event. And what is the relationship like between Fort for Fitness and the Tin Caps in Parkview Fields? Yeah, this is the sixth season that we've held Park or the Fort for Fitness here at Parkview Field. Um, it's it's a wonderful opportunity for the Tin Caps in Parkview Field to get more people into um, our ballpark and our facility. Um, it's a it's become a wonderful community place for people to come, and this is just another example of it. We have. Um, in the past, over 20,000 people that come through here, uh, 10,000 of them are runners, and then, you know, everyone's spectating and watching and cheering them on. Uh, so it's just a wonderful uh, community spot for downtown Fort Wayne and really all of the city. And the Tin Caps during the baseball season had more than 411,000 fans here at Parkview Field, a new record, but the big fun never stops, even once baseball ends, right? No, we had a concert last weekend, and now we've got Fort for Fitness uh, in a little over a month, we'll have Fright Night here downtown. It's a big event, but uh, we'll be having our own portion here and then shooting off the fireworks for Night of Lights uh, the night before Thanksgiving. So it's, a, it's an amazing facility that we can use almost every day of the year, and we do our best to try to do so. And so while you've been on the side now of running Fort for Fitness for a few years, running as in putting it together, you also mm -hmm. have run Fort for Fitness mm -hmm. before you've completed the half marathon. Can you describe the comparison between the exhilaration of finishing a race and the exhilaration of pulling off an event like this? Yeah, I tell you there's a lot less training that goes into um, actually working the event, So, um, but both are just as rewarding. I did the four mile in 2009 and it was my first half marathon in 2010. Um, it was an amazing experience, uh, but now usually during the race I'll see everyone at the finish line. Um, so I'm down there and just watching people accomplish what they've been working towards is absolutely incredible. And there are so many incredible stories over the years. Mm -hmm. you have any stories that stand out that you've encountered here with Fort for Fitness? Yeah, there's been a lot of weight loss stories that we've heard about, which is wonderful. That's why Fort for Fitness is here, is we're trying to make this a, um, you know, a more fit community. Uh, so there's a lot of those. There's just me, me never being a runner and having completed something like this. was The impressive. best story of all. Yeah, for myself. Um, a lot of my friends, I know we have some staff here that were never runners before. Um, and so it just kind of seeing it all happen kind of makes us uh, want to get out there and do it. And then we have a wedding this year. So um, there's a lot of health stories and things like that. But then there's just a lot of happiness stories like getting married in the middle of a half marathon and, you know, finishing together with your whole bridal party. It's the one time that a runaway bride is a good thing. <laughs> it's just running exactly. towards the finish line. Now, we can circling back to your involvement with the Tin Caps, we'd be remiss if we didn't bring up that you did win the Midwest League's Rowling's Woman Executive of the Year Award for the second time in the last five years, making you one of only three women to ever win that award in its 26-year history multiple times. What is that? Con congratulations, and what does that accomplishment mean to you? Well, thank you very much. Um, it's it's very I'm very honored to have won that award. Um, but everything that we do here, um, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the incredible staff that we have. So um, I may be the one with my name on that award. Um, and I just view it as I'm representing everything that we do here with the Tin Caps. Uh, we have over 30 full-time people, and everyone works so hard, uh, which I feel like we prove almost every day, especially, you know, last weekend picking up flooring in the pouring rain. So we, there's a million things that we do here, but, um, you know, my name's just on that plaque, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a team effort. 
Well, congratulations on that accolade. And also congratulations on all of your work with Fort for Fitness and making this seventh year another successful one. Thank you very much. There was Fort for Fitness Fall Festival co-chair Abby Noss. Thanks so much for the Thank time. You, sir. Got continuing coverage of Fort for Fitness at Parkview Field here on Xfinity.